Uh, pero good morning. Ay, pero hoy sí estamos lindos, señores. Estamos cute. <laughs> um, anyways, real quick, guys. Um, so, I this isn't the first time it happens. This is why I'm going to bring it up. I always get um, messages, um, you know, like random messages or comments like, oh, my God, like, what does your man think about this? Or, oh, your man is you know confident you know that he lets you blah 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 and and it always brings me back to like w how did we fucking get here like how did we get to the point and this is i'm talking about particularly for women how did we get to the point where we ever felt the motherfucking need to ask permission from anybody to do absolutely anything with our body with what we wear with what we say you know what I'm saying? Like, like I always say, my loyalty to who I am with has absolutely zero to do with social media. Believe it or not. <laughs> Believe it or not. That's why I'm a huge believer in, you know, like when people say, oh, social media ruins relationships. No, nigga. Inconsistent, unloyal motherfuckers ru um, ruin uh, relationships think that I don't know that that's gonna bring attention to me like you gotta understand that whether I'm posting a half-naked picture or video or not niggas are still in my DM like that doesn't stop the fact that I get attention that's just the type of woman that I am you know what I'm saying and that's the reality of it but how I handle myself as a grown-ass fucking woman is a whole different you know subject like I get DMs all the fucking time. Delete, 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 delete. Because at the end of the day, when I am with somebody, I am fully committed. No matter how much I put myself out there, I am fully committed. And it has really nothing to do with my man. But there is n not, nobody in this fucking planet that will ever get me to the point or the to that weak point to be unloyal to anybody that I'm with. No, not now one fucking person. I don't get tempted because I am very fucking disciplined. Okay. I don't get tempted. I don't have temptation. I don't surround myself with, with temptation. I, that's just simply something I don't do because I am fucking wise enough to understand that something good is just absolutely not worth fucking losing over temptation at the end of the day there's fucking beautiful people all around the fucking world that doesn't necessarily mean that i'm gonna go and fucking get tempted especially for somebody that like me when you know that you can have absolutely anybody you you fucking want you have to have somebody confident by your side i don't expect anything less <laughs> than somebody that is completely fucking comfortable and confident in their own skin to know and trust that I'm not going to get distracted. You get what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, like I've always said, loyalty has more to do with one's um, personal di discipline and consistency than what anybody else is fucking doing with their life. All right? So I don't answer DMs. I don't entertain the bullshit. If I get like a compliment or something like that, I'll say thank you. I'll acknowledge it. The motherfucking end. So how did we get here to the point where we felt the need to fucking ask for permission from our family, from our partners, from anything to dictate how we act, how we look, what we wear, or all of that? Man, that fuck, that just saddens me. That just saddens me because I've seen it. When somebody be like, oh, no, no, change that, or what are you wearing, or... <laughs> you got me so fucked up. If you're gonna tell me what to wear, honey, or what to say, or what to do, or what to no, 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 not here, honey. So if anything, that shit fucking makes me sad. It's it makes me very sad that people would think that I would need to ask for permission and understand as well that I am one of those that provides. Be I think I provide way more reassurance <laughs> than anything in this fucking world. My man knows that he can ask me for the password to my Instagram at any given moment. I, I've, I've, I've actually already given it to him, but I know he forgot it. But it, trust me when I tell you, he can ask for it 
and I can peacefully, because there's no, there's no amount of fucking peace in the world that you get from fucking being loyal and knowing that you're not doing shit, baby, here you go, ask for it at any given moment, I like, I, I have absolutely nothing to fucking hide, you know what I mean, um, I can fucking leave my phone, we can change phones all fucking day, okay, I don't talk to nobody, but you guys, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's, that's just the way that I am set up as an individual, you know, and that's just the type of services that I provide. Okay. Oh, and my man met me like this. He met me obviously through social media um, and understood the type of person that I was. And, and I feel that that's one of the biggest mistakes that women do is that once they get with a man, they let that masculinity, like they don't know how, how to um, differentiate when to be submissive and when to um, allow that masculinity to take over. Because I've noticed that women tend to change once they're in a relationship. Like, no, you're supposed to be fucking blossoming boo you're supposed to be being you times 10 you know what i'm saying like no you're not about to come into my life and try to fucking control and manipulate the type of woman that i am you met me like my man is very aware of the type of woman that he is involved with and that was not going to change people thought that because you know i'm in a relationship now like Oh, that that I was gonna be like, oh, all conservative. Let me let me turtle neck up. No, my nigga, like that is me. That is the way that I express myself. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a very sexual being, you know, and and I'm very aware of the type of woman that I am. I'm a I'm very fucking aware of um, the type of attention that I get. But I'll never take advantage of that. If you are in a, in a relationship that like that, that makes you feel like, oh my God, I gotta ask for permission. Oh my God, babe, do you approve? <laughs> You're basically allowing somebody to have that control over you. I'll tell you this much: it's not everybody that can that can handle a strong as opinionated powerful motherfucking powerful woman like myself and guess what that's because from fucking day one i am consistent as fuck submissive when i need to be but always in full control of my outcome and what i allow and what i tolerate in my motherfucking life at the end of the day what you allow is what will continue so if you even slightly become submissive to somebody manipulating you or making you feel like they can control what the fuck you say and do guess what honey boo boo that's exactly what's gonna motherfucking happen and this bit right here will be like uh I love you, but you got me so fucked up. <laughs> people have this huge fucking misconception that people that put themselves out there, like me, are fucking hoes or whatever the case might be, or oh my God, or she just wants attention. Like, trust me when I tell you, I don't have to fiend attention. I'm beyond fucking confident in myself to be one of those women that results to th thirst trapping because they need that validation. No, honey, boo boo. Not over here. Not to I, not ever. Um, <laughs> you know, like I don't, I don't do nothing. Like, you know, I appreciate compliments, but I don't do nothing with them. They don't make me fucking, they don't gas me up to the point where I'm like, oh my God, I'm the baddest bitch walking on this earth well i feel like that but that's just my personal thing <laughs> not because of the fucking compliments because at the end of the day whether i have social media or i don't have social media i will still be that bitch with or without the fucking you know like people <laughs> people let these fucking numbers get to their head no i'm still gonna be humble i'm still gonna be fucking grateful i'm still going to acknowledge those that acknowledge me i'm still going to be fucking appreciative because at the end of the day this is how we connect this is how we form the relationships that we can't not actual relationships but you know like the relationships that we can't actually have out there 
You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, I wouldn't be fucking, I pro we probably would never fucking meet if it wasn't because of social media. You probably wouldn't know about my presence in your whole life unless we had social media. So don't let all that shit get to you. Don't let the, the assumptions or any shit of that source get to you because that is one of the main reasons why I do speak, why I do do these videos because at the end of the day, it's important to communicate and for people to actually see that regardless of what I post, there's an actual fucking brain behind, you know, like they say, there's a method to the madness. There's an actual fucking brain behind all of this, you know, like there is so much more to me than just what I fucking post or, you know, or what you see or what I portray or what I want you to fucking see. Get it? Yo soy la quemando, coño. <laughs> Have a great day, my loves. Moral of the motherfucking story is I'm not the one. <laughs> Hope that rubs off, bitch. <laughs>